Hello everybody, I'm David and this is my third film vlog. It's called film vlog number three. So on film vlog number three, I want to be able to talk about my other term that from graduating from MSV, Media, Sound and Visual, I moved up to LMW, which stands for living in the media world. So living in the media world is basically you're making a documentary film of a person, a place, or a thing. And basically, uh, you have to pick your own topic that will compel well to the story. So it all starts off through an individual process for LMW1. So what I did is I chose two topics. So one topic was my friend Michael, uh, who works at Home Depot, and with his staff and his employees and the manager. The other one was my dad, which he is the owner and president of Lennox Mills LLC, and he works with staff. And for these two topics, I have to play around with them most of the time during the whole cycle of two to three weeks before the midterm. And when I did it over that three week cycle, I pretty much did a lot of Photoshop work. I've done topography. When I have to ask my friend Michael to help me out through the core concept, this is where I have to get all the information from him. And basically the core concept is pretty much about him working through carts. He works through uh, basically holding uh, and lifting uh, cargo and stuff. And mostly there's also a tr uh, just a clip piece that I did. So watch, watch this film. This is called Determine Yourself. And here's the clip. Hi, my name is Michael Landa. I'm 23 years old. I've been with Home Depot Company for seven months now. I had some difficulties and challenges for the difficulty. I've been traveling from Pleasant Hill to San Ramon three times a week. I'm just a part-timer and I'm making minimum wage. Uh, my challenges that I have is that I'm trying, I'm trying to my best to improve every day to help customers um, do cars, do returns, and um, load items to the customer vehicles after they pay for it. And the challenges I have, sometimes I can't answer all the questions because I just don't know. And half the times, like, which I do know where things is and are. And if things are really high, I'll just get a ladder and pull it down for now. I am looking for another part-time job. And I did work with Walmart for a couple weeks, but they reflected my time schedule. And I quit after two weeks. The challenges I've been having it's really challenging because I've been trying to deal with Home Depot, trying to prove it for full time, and they said there was nothing available for full time, and they don't want to pay benefits. So, and that's it. So, after all this happened, um, I've gone through the midterm and I presented except from Michael's topic, I went through my dad's topic. And over my dad's topic, uh, I just gone through some information I have and for the core concept, gave the story and evidence about it. And basically, um, it turned out good. I chose a great topic for my dad's documentary about the scrapyard industry where he works full time 
every day. And he's out of the yard communicating with his employees to do something. And I also made a trailer, a two minute trailer of uh, Living Green and Recycle is the trailer name. And here's the trailer. What does making recycling a way of life mean to you? Making recycling a way of life is two parts. One is providing quality services in the area of metals recycling, whether it's physical or consultation. Motors, valves, cable, solid brass uh, connectors that are connected to various types of power equipment. Very, very high value, up to $2 a pound. These types of companies were companies we approached and each being a bit different in size and nature of their business while we went back to design and craft various types of projects or programs for them that would suit their needs if they warranted our service. Working with rubbish, everything is thrown away before it was, everything was being thrown into a landfill. And now with the recycling, you see more of the things being reused, you know, being, being reused instead of being done. Island or community for our future generations by recycling rather than dumping everything in landfills. Recycling what we can. The more we can divert away from the landfill, the better. This metal is not deteriorating in the landfills and just corrupting the water system and that by recycling we're not having to strip more of other nature's fruits to uh, produce these uh, materials. Material that comes in on a daily basis and processing that, making sure that get whatever it is cut down, stripped of negative materials, put into gaylards and eventually put onto trailers which would be shipped overseas. Love green and recycle. So yeah, as I show the trailer to everyone during the final presentation, everybody was just so shocked about how amazing the high quality is for the trailer and how all the stills and the videos came to life. And because re recycling is more into investment for like measuring the metal and processing it to other countries in Korea. That's what makes a huge difference for metals. And pr pretty much I did a great job with A roll and B roll for myself. So I did the camera work, I did the audio, uh, I didn't do as much lighting, so that I have to learn from LMW2. So now when I'm done with LMW1, the next vlog will be LMW2, as in we're grouping up teams of three and mostly I will give you all the information once we're done with LMW2 because we're still in the process of filming it. And that's it.